welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making sour cream biscuits. Now they are similar to a regular biscuit or a buttermilk biscuit but they're just a little bit different because we will be adding in some sour cream. So these are definitely wonderful, very easy to put together and you don't need many ingredients as you can see. So the first thing you want to do is have your oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's go over the ingredients that we are going to be needing for our biscuits here. We're going to be needing just some water, regular um, cold room temperature water, doesn't matter. Uh, here we have a mixture of dry ingredients. We have some flour, we have some baking powder, sugar, baking soda, and salt. Here we have some sour cream, of course, and here we have some very cold cubed butter. Now, to give you that flakiness in your biscuit, you want to make sure that your butter is very, very cold. You can actually even put it in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes before you are ready to make your biscuits. And here I just have a little, um, almost like a cookie cutter. I purchased these at a store here. Um, you could probably use anything like a cup, anything around uh, three inches. So this is the size that I'm using here. And uh, you also want to have a cookie sheet which has been lined with some parchment paper. And now we are definitely ready to make these biscuits. Okay, so I'm going to be using my mixer here for these today, but you can most definitely just make it in a bowl. Just use your hands with a pastry cutter and that will work just as well. It'll just be a little more work, which is totally okay if that's how you want to do it. So what we're going to do is place all of our dry ingredients here into our bowl and we're going to give this a little mix to combine our dry ingredients. Okay, so I just mixed for about 10 seconds and now we are definitely ready to add in our cubed butter. So what I'm going to do is put my machine on low and slowly add in the um, cubes of butter and allow it to mix until your mixture resembles coarse crumbs. I'll let you know what mine looks like as soon as we get to that consistency. Okay, so my mixture has been mixing here for about four minutes on low speed. As you can see, it is resembling coarse crumbs because you can see the little pieces of butter throughout the batter and that's exactly what you want and that is what is going to give you your flaky biscuits. So now we are definitely ready to add in our sour cream and our water. Now I will add all of the sour cream but the water I will add half and then uh, we'll see how our mixture looks and then we will add in the remaining water as we need it and as we go along. Okay, so as you can see, our mixture is still a little bit dry, so we are definitely going to add in the remaining of our water here. And we're going to mix until we have a nice dough forming, and then we will place a little bit of flour on our countertop, and we will roll out our biscuits, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you want to form your disc of dough here into about eight to nine inches. And uh, you also want to make your biscuits about half inch thick. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them and then I can re-roll them. Don't add any more flour just because you want some nice, soft and tender um, biscuits. You don't want them to be hard and um, dense. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then with the remaining dough, I will uh, 
form it up into a disc again and make the remaining biscuits. And then I will place these in my 400 degree oven for about 15 to 16 minutes or when you notice that they are a nice golden brown. Okay, so my biscuits were in the oven for exactly 19 minutes and now I'm just going to brush some melted butter on top and then we will be that close to trying one. Okay, so I've let my biscuits cool a little bit and we already placed the butter on top of it and now we are definitely ready to try one. So I cut one in half and I just brushed a little bit of melted butter on here, so it's time to try it. They are wonderful, they are so soft. You can double the recipe, do whatever you like and um, you will love them. And that's about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.